Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with my monthly Aldi haul. I spent 131 bucks, so I will jump right in. I will say I'm gonna have to split this into two parts. My kitchen table is pretty small, so what I'm gonna show you right now is my frozen and refrigerated items, and then I'll come back and show you the pantry items and non-food items. So let's jump in. So we'll start back over here. I picked up some chicken nuggets. I've never um, picked them up before, but I like their chicken strips and chicken patties, and I've been craving chicken nuggets, so I grabbed them. They also had a sale on their sliced chicken breast, and so I got this package for $3.58. It's $1.99 a pound, and I think it looks like you get four or five thinly sliced chicken breast, and so I plan on grilling those, or my husband will be grilling those. And I wanted to try their pork sausage. Never tried it before, but I heard that it's very similar to Jimmy Dean, and I love Jimmy Dean sausage, so I'll be sure to let you guys know. And then um, I used to buy their chicken lo mein all the time, and um, I picked it up today. I haven't had it in a while. I like it for quick meals. And so this was, I think, $4.99. I have heard rave reviews about their sausage and cheese breakfast pizza, so I decided to give it a try. It was $3.99. And then a staple for us is steak fries, and we really like them. They were $1.59. And I think these cheesecake dips were $1.59 too. They had chocolate, um, salted caramel, and strawberry, and I just grabbed two chocolate and two caramel. I needed some half and half for recipes. I plan on making a quiche, so I needed some. And by the way, our what's for dinner videos come out on Tuesday if you're interested in seeing what we eat during the week. I have some pie crust. My favorite pie crust is Pillsbury, but I wanted to know how these bakehouse pie crust are because of course they are considerably cheaper. So if you have tried them and they're good, please let me know. Uh, I was kind of scared, so I just got one just to try it out. And then I can't remember if I skipped over this. I got some crescent rolls for a recipe I plan to try. These French toast sticks are a staple, $1.99 for 20. And then I'm trying to do eat better and do better in the morning, especially at breakfast. So I grabbed this Greek yogurt. I really like this Greek yogurt and I talked about it on my Aldi favorites video and I'll link it and so you guys can see what some of my favorite things to grab at Aldi, um, Aldi is and Let's see here, this was new, this pineapple upside down cake. My husband likes that kind of stuff. And so I got this for him. It says you can make it in the microwave or in the oven. And knowing him, he'll probably put it in the microwave. I grabbed several salads for us. I grabbed coleslaw for egg roll in a bowl. I've been making those, um, that a lot for, um, for dinners. And then I also grabbed a Southwest chopped salad and then a garden salad because I plan on us having some taco salad soon. Um, green beans are a staple for me whenever I go to Aldi as well. And then they had, um, these are new, these green beans, steakhouse green beans, savory steakhouse green beans seasoned in a peppery garlic sauce and it sounded really good to me. I grabbed two packages, they were $1.99. And so is this broccoli, Kung Pao broccoli was also $1.99. Broccoli florets marinated in a sweet and spicy ginger sauce. I grabbed some apples because like I said, I'm gonna try to eat better, try to snack on more fruits. Corn because my husband loves, loves corn and this corn you can't really tell on camera, but it's huge. And I haven't seen really good looking corn all summer long, so I was excited about that. And then the last thing for the refrigerated products are these flour tortillas. My husband likes to use them at lunch and also for breakfast. He likes to make breakfast wraps and things like that. So this is all for the refrigerator and frozen items. I'm gonna put this away and then I'm gonna show you all of the pantry items. Stay tuned. So I am back with part two, so here we go. So I will start off over here with what I am most excited about, which are these candles. I love all the candles. You can't beat the price. They are $3.99, they burn evenly, and they have a very strong throw. I was able to find all four scents, so I was very excited about that. 
I got the chocolate filled Belgian waffles for my mom because she likes those kind of scents. I'm not into cake scents and you know, um, baked scents, things like that. So, but she likes them. And then I got a couple of the lemongrass and bamboo. This candle smells very fresh, very green and lemony as well. This agave citrus is my favorite scent. I can't put my finger exactly on what it smells like. It just smells good and sweet, kind of tropical. And then um, I got Brisk Summer Nights, which is kind of a fresh scent, but it's very, very light. So it's not strong. I don't know how it'll burn, of course, but I was excited to get them. And um, let's see. Also got this lemon blueberry granola clusters. I saw this and wanted to try it. It's a pretty large bag. And I love lemon and blueberry. It says made by hand, gluten free. And then I have heard that their peanut butter cups are better than Reese's. So I wanted to give it a try. I think these were $2.79 a bag. So picked up that. I grabbed my staple canned items, which are black beans, because we eat beans and rice for dinner. Um, and so I always like to have black beans on hand. <clears throat> Excuse me. I needed some stewed tomatoes. So I got four stewed tomatoes, four black beans. Um, I've never paid attention. I didn't know that they had cherry pie filling, but I wanted to give their cherry pie filling a try. Wanted, I've never tried canned potatoes, but I'm gonna experiment and try something with them. So grabbed a can of um, their canned potatoes. And then I also grabbed a can of crushed tomatoes because I have a recipe that I'm gonna use. I saw these two seasoning packets that sounded good for street tacos. This one is Southwest Ranch Chicken, and you just need a pound of chicken. I think it calls for chicken breast, but I like to use chicken thighs. Um, to me, chicken breasts are a little bit dry. And then I also grabbed this um, package of pork carnitas, and it calls for three pounds of boneless, um, what is it, three pounds of boneless pork shoulder. So I grabbed that. I grabbed a box of these animal crackers. These are new to me, but I heard someone say that they reminded them of McDonald Land cookies. If you're old enough to remember those, I used to love McDonald Land cookies. So I cannot wait to try these things out. I got a couple of puffs for my son. He's eight months old and um, he's recently started solids. So I wanted to try these out. He loves blueberries. So I got blueberry and strawberry apple. I also got him this four pack of playful peach. It's 100% real fruits and veggies and it's apple, peach and sweet potato and he loves sweet potatoes. And then I also got him two pouches of the organic baby food, apple and sweet potato. I've never tried their, their um, baby food either. And these were 79 cents a pouch. And then I thought this was cute. I think it was $5.99 or $6.99. This is a little dining set. He's too little for it now, of course, but I couldn't beat that. It's so cute, little dinosaur. And you get a cup, bowl, plate, fork, and spoon. So you can't beat that. And it's a little tray, you can't see a little divided tray in there. So anyway, this is everything that I picked up from my Aldi haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, we certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.